You know we love it when you contact the show. As I say, your involvement always encouraged. We can't do it without you and all the other things I say about that sort of stuff. Dave from Worcester texted in yesterday. We did a piece about dogs liking music and Dave texted me. He asked this. Is your Jack Russell a yapping, snappy dog? I ask, says Dave, because I was once, once nipped on the bum by one, so I'm cautious in the company of Jack Russells. I said, no, my Jack Russell, Ted, yapping, snappy. No, never in a month of Sundays, he's the calmest Jack Russell. In fact, the calmest dog in the two counties, by a mile. Next thing we know, this was in the papers. Jack Russells, it says here, Jack Russells are the breed most likely to bite you. So we thought we'd have to do a piece on this. It's the top 10 of the dogs most likely to bite you. This is what I've been on about. The doggy top 10 that you wouldn't want your perfect pooch to be part of. I've been speaking to dog behaviourist Nick Jones from Alpha Dog Behaviour about this this morning. I said to him, Jack Russell's top of the list for biting. Does that surprise you? Well, yes and no. I think no in some respects that these smaller dogs often go below the radar in as much that if they do bite somebody or uh, another dog, the size of the dog is not making such an impact so as uh, for it to be reported. Um, but I think on the other hand, we uh, and I on a professional level see many Jack Russells which uh, are extremely biddable and, and uh, relaxed in the presence of people and dogs. So it's that generalisation which uh, I'm always sort of reluctant to go down. Yeah, quite right. My Ted, for example, as calm as you like. Although we did have that text from Dave yesterday, didn't we? It, he asked me, is your Jack Russell a yapping, snappy dog? That's the stereotype of a Jack Russell, isn't it? It, it does tend to be, and I encounter that stereotype. I, my argument is that if a dog, when uh, suitably young, has the correct levels of training, socialisation and direction from its owner, then there's no reason at all why the Jack Russell, a Jack Russell, or indeed any other breed, should behave in that sort of way. Um, dogs, certain breeds tend to have what you might call default behaviours if, they, if they're not given adequate direction. So I think that's where the stereotype arises. OK. Also in the top ten, Nick, we have the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, we have the Pit Bull Terrier, German Shepherd Rottweiler. I mean, these are probably what you might expect to be in the top ten of a list of biting dogs, yes? Yes, and again, I think, as I mentioned earlier, because the, uh, the size of these dogs, uh, when, let's say, a Rottweiler were to nip or bite somebody or even to show aggressive behaviour, that's very likely to be reported. The tolerance in this day and age for poor behaviour towards people in public is pretty low. Um, and the public awareness on these so sorts of cases is very high. Uh, so this is why certain breeds, I feel, tend to get sort of picked out more. Yeah. I I've seen a good deal of aggressive Labradors, let's say. You know, it's a large dog, it's imposing. If it wants to be aggressive towards you uh, and, and chooses to do, to do so, the, the results can be pretty serious. Here's a controversial question. I hope you're ready for it. Uh, when it comes to biting, how much is it down to the dog's nature and how much is it to the way that the dog has been brought up, do you think? As a question, that has been debated for uh, many years and I... Uh, it, personally lean towards the actual uh, what's the the expression it's nature or nurture isn't yes, it? yes yes so i lean towards nurture yes. which simply means what we bring the aspect we bring forward of a dog or the the way we wish to shape and mold our dog uh, assuming we receive that dog at, as a puppy at the conventional eight weeks of age that is really the biggest influence on how a dog uh, is likely to be in its adolescent and adult years. In the interim, of course, we have, again, the aspects of socialisation, utterly critical, uh, the good training and leadership from the owner. If, if an owner takes on a dog or a breed which is, frankly, beyond their level of experience, then they may well find themselves getting into trouble. Can we ever, though, do you think, Nick, trust a dog 100% not to bite? 
in the dogs I've had, um, I've never had a dog where I would not be able to apply that saying. Um, I am fully confident that my dogs would not bite. But then it's a it's a big question because we could then start to break it down to subsections. You know, would the dog bite a person? Would the dog bite a, a dog? Would the dog kill a rat? Mm. Um, would would the dog uh, you, you know rip apart a little ball? So th- th- there are. I think the main to keep it more simple, the main areas are does your dog bite people and does your dog bite other dogs uh and and those are the two real uh serious areas that we always wish to address i'm quite happy to take uh, the credit you know i don't take it very often for ted being the calmest nicest gentlest jack russell on the planet yeah yeah <laughs> well that, that and good for you and, and you. that's probably indicative of the way you are with him the qualities that you have uh endeavored to bring forward uh, you know, going back to the earlier comments, it would be very easy to take a Jack Russell at eight weeks of age and to, through its first year of development, to bring out the very fiery terrier aspects of that dog so that it kills everything in sight, it rips everything up in sight, or at least it wants to, um, and is very unsociable and, and somewhat stressful to own. Um, so it, it, it really is down to the, the, uh, the nurture, the way that we bring the aspects that we bring forward um, in in the early developmental months. Mm. Nick Jones there from Alpha Dog Behaviour. Uh, thank you, Melvin, the white van man. He's texted me on this. I've been 10 years as a white van man, Malk, so I should know. Springer Spaniels, they're the worst for wanting to have a nip at you. Well, they're not in the top 10, which is at 10, Husky, then Doberman Pincher, Great Dane. These are the dogs most likely to bite you. Boxers at 7, Dachshund 6, then the Rottweiler, the German Shepherd. The Pitbull Terrier is 3. Staffordshire Bull Terrier at 2. And the Jack Russell, boo, never, is at 1. There you go. Monday to Friday from 1 o'clock. Kate Justice in the afternoon. Remember the hit.